Hello, my name's uh, Richard Kiyimba, and I'm um, a postgraduate um, of international relations and politics. Thank you for joining us. Today, I'm going to address probably one of the most important um, topic that most of us um, fail to realize, or sometimes we talk about, but we don't know the full extent to which it affects most of our lives, in particular, those of us who come from Africa. Not, not just Africa, but also some of us who came from the West Indies and so on. The, the big issue is, is that um, young people, young people today find themselves at a crossroad. They are confused. They, they feel they don't fit in. They have identity problems. They have so many issues that they're battling with, both internally and externally. And um, as, as, as parents, most parents fail to understand these issues because they simply look at it from a simplistic point of view, whereby they say to themselves, hold on a minute, why are you still misbehaving when you have given you the education, when I've brought you over to Europe, when I've given you the, the, the money that you need to, to, to help you along the way, why are you still in the same position? And I think that's just too simple for us to look at the situation like that. What we have today in this country is we have have a generation of young people who feel on one hand they feel British and on the other hand they feel African but at the same time they don't really know what most most of those identities what they really mean so it's like they're caught in in the middle if you go outside today on any streets of London and you ask somebody okay you're British what does it mean to be British they'll probably say well I went to school in in London uh, most of my friends are uh, of a very diverse background and I'm also for instance I'm might be I'm also Ugandan but then when you ask them and you critically ask them can you can you tell me who you are can you tell me something about yourself you soon realize that they don't really know they don't really know they can't really give you a straightforward answer and I think the reason is is that we have not done enough work to really engage our young people from an early age about who they are about who, who they are, their names, where they come from, and how important it is to retain these identities. The reason why so many of our young black males today are in prisons and, and, and all these places is because precisely because they don't have no concept about themselves. You see, it's not just about saying that I'm from Africa. It's not just about saying that I'm from here. But it's about engaging. It's about engaging. How much do you know about your continent back home? How much have you been engaging with yourself back home? And, and, and if you haven't been engaging with yourself, then don't be surprised when um, you, know, you, you don't know what's happening around you. you. You feel the peer pressure. You feel the need to fit in. And because of that, you end up doing things that you feel later on that you, you don't like. I'll give you one example. A lot of young um, um, friends of mine who I came up with, a lot of them had very strong um, what I would call African morals. They were very strong. They, they believed in, in keeping in touch with um, situations back home. And then along the way, most of them began to derail, began to speak in ways in which um, if they look back at themselves, they wouldn't appreciate. And the reason is, is because along the way, they, they, they lost that connection. And I, I believe the reason is, is because, you know, we don't speak enough. We don't do enough about Africa. We're not talking enough about our culture. We're not doing enough um, projects. There's not enough um, platforms where people can express themselves. We feel a need to try to be something else. And people, let me tell you one thing. The best the best person you could ever be is be yourself because the people who you're trying to be like, these are some of the people that may not necessarily understand they themselves. You want to be somebody who sometimes in most cases don't really have a defined culture. You have a culture. You have a, a culture. You can talk about your great grandfathers and so on. So we need to, we need to, I guess, tap into that. We need to tap more into that in order for us to be able to make the impact that we need to make. Because unless we do that, we're going to continue to see more of our young people end up in prison. We're going to see more gun and knife crime on our streets. Not because these young kids um, are out of control or they lack anything. It's because that yet we have not done enough sensitization on these young people. We have not done enough work to bring them in. How, when was the last time most of you went to um, uh, 
um, uh, a, a talk show. When was the last time most of you went to a platform where young people were talking about being proud of who they are? This is not done. And, and another thing is with um, our um, African um, teenagers or young people um, is that we have to stop relying on the government to define who we are. We live in a globalized world. It's either you define yourself or you somebody else will define who you are. And once this happens, don't be surprised when your your son, your your daughter begins to take on something which you find repugnant. So don't be surprised when these things happen. So we need to be able to to tell our young kids that look, this is who you are. This is what makes you special. It doesn't mean that they should abandon what they've been brought up with. For instance, if they've been brought up in this country, it's important for them, obviously, to know the British culture. But it's important for them to remit, to know about themselves and know about their history. But this is just a foundation on some of the topics that I hopefully I'll be dealing with, me and um, some of my other colleagues that will, you'll be meeting along the way. And I ask you out there, if you feel you have something to contribute and you feel there is a point in which you, you can, I invite you to come on over so we can, we can talk about these issues and we can help somebody who's about to give up, somebody who's about to give in to the pressures that he or she finds themselves in. Once again, my names are Richard Kiyimba, and if you're interested in finding out anything more, uh, my email is kiyi17 at hotmail.co.uk. I repeat that, kiyi17 at hotmail.co.uk. Thank you.